A few years ago, I posted this video where I shaved a composite BB Corbett to see how much exit velo you would gain. And by far, that was my most popular video. And the next step from there was to buy another bat and remove a restrictor ring. But the problem is I thought every aluminum BB core had a restrictor ring in it. So I ordered a few, opened them up, and nothing inside. <laughs> so I had to do a lot of research, and I found that the DeMarini CF series actually had restrictor rings in them. So I went ahead and found one on eBay for $80, and it was this 3431 DeMarini CF8. Really cool looking bat, and it was actually really light swinging, really good. Now the problem was, I didn't really know how to remove the restrictor ring, let alone the end cap. As you can see, it's sort of jacked up. Uh, the bat, I tried to do a lot of things to the bat to get the restrictor ring out, and I was very unsuccessful, and I just shelved the idea for a long time. So recently, I was cleaning out my closet, actually came across the bat, and I was like, you know what? Let me do a little bit more research. Let me see if I can actually figure out how to remove it. And I believe I have an idea. Now I did tape on the end cap and I learned from past videos how to actually tape it back on. And I did try it out to make sure it still had a good amount of pop and that the end cap being loose was not affecting it. Now before we get to actually removing the restrictor ring this time, we have to go ahead and set a new baseline and see where we're at before we remove it to see how much exit velo we do gain. All right guys, we gotta get the baseline for the CF8. But I also brought out the CF3. We're going to compare this to it. We're going to see what kind of velo gap there is so that once we remove the restrictor ring, we can see how much that gap shrunk or if it or if they're equals. If we get 50,000 views, if it gets more views than that shaved composite bat video that I did, I will buy a Rawlings icon and I will remove the restrictor ring and shave it to see just how juiced a BB core bat can get against real pitching. We'll get a hit tractor, Rapsodo, whatever we can get our hands on and hit on an actual field, which would be nice. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys really like this video, if you want to see that, make sure to like it, make sure to leave a comment, letting me know you want to see that video. So yeah, let's get to the velos. Exit speed is 92.2 miles 92. per hour. Ooh. Did that read it? Tell me that Reddit. Exit speed is 93.6. There we go, 94. Ooh, 103, <laughs> it's 93. <laughs> oh. Speed is 91. Oh, that was stroke. Oh. Roll me over. 35. Exit speed is 35. Oh, yeah. 94. Come on, baby. Give me a legit 94. Exit speed is 94.7. Oh, 97. There we go. Ready. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was stroke, baby. Exit speed is 94.9 miles All right. per hour. We got 95. We're going to switch over to the CF3 and just see what happens. All right, guys, we got the CF3 now. We're going to we hit 95 with the CF8. I think that's pretty good for me right now. And we're gonna try to hit a, maybe a hundred, 98, a hundred with this. That was stroke, that's an immediate difference. Ooh. That is stroke, baby. Exit speed is 93.2 miles per hour. Okay, hold on. Ready. What are we doing? Ooh. That was good, baby. Okay, that's just hour. slightly better. Ready. There ain't no way this is just slightly better. Ooh. These are stroke though. Exit speed is 90.5 miles oh, per hour. Is the CF8 already better than the CF3? That don't make sense. Ooh. That is stroke. Just a little under it. Exit speed is 9.4. Okay. All right. Ready. Ooh. Exit speed is nine point five miles per okay. hour. Ninety-four. Exit speed is ninety-seven point six. 
Six oh, there we go. 98. Okay, Ready. finally. I knew I had it. All right, guys, we got the end cap off. We're going to remove this ring. You guys can't see it. I'll get better lighting. Okay, so I need to clamp this up real quick. We're going to clamp it right in here. Push it against that back wall. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. First try. Did I just break something? All right, guys, we got. <laughs> we have our hole saw that fits perfectly into here. I'm just going to go at this thing for a while, try to get all the way through it. Let's see what that did. Ah, uh, I don't know if that did anything. Time number two. What the? Looking good. Looking real good. I don't know if you guys can see how much progress I have left. That's a lot. I'll update you if it gets any better. Oh, baby. It doesn't work well when I do that. <laughs> I think I might be making progress. Let's get another checkup. Let's get a nice little checkup in there. Wait, right, where's the light? There we go. We got the light going. Oh, baby. What good progress. This drill isn't cutting it. Now that's more like it. I might be onto something here. Let's uh, not take safety lessons from me, kids. Oh, shoot. I might have done something. We might have just done something. Oh, baby, we did. Woo. Hold on. Look at that. Oh, shoot. How do you work this thing? Look at that chunk out of there. Oh, I said don't take lessons from me, kids. Let's take those out. Put the gloves back on. By the way, my dad said that the uh, 
drilling part would not work. And I don't want to admit that he's correct, but hey, look at that. Nice little trophy. Ah! I need to be careful not to uh, go through the bat, too. Doing anything now, or is it just trash? Oh, I think it's separating. Yeah, dude, it's separating. Look, you see how it's pushing down now. All right, Plan B is pretty effective. I think we might be getting it down there pretty good. Be able to knock it down around. I think we just knocked it out, actually. Hold on, look. Can you see in there? Oh, shoot, yeah. That thing's gone, dude. That thing is gone. Hold on. Let's see if... Can I get that light over here? Okay, let's, let's look at it now. That is... All right, so what part do I need to hit now? Uh, that part? The one... Should I hit that on the left? Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be something. It's getting there. Restrictor ring off. Restrictor ring on. <laughs> so it's like an on-off switch. Do we got something that we can hook down there? I don't know. We got our favorite caulk gun. Uh, oh, right there. <laughs> he did want to cut it. We, we tried to do a bunch of hooks and we just can't get it out. So I'm going to try to brute shrink this thing. Oh, I just wedged it back out <laughs> there. Hold on, I think I'll watch it back in there. <laughs> let me let me get that light in there. Oh shoot. Okay. I'm gonna as hard as I can. Oh. Now that's what a restrictor ring really looks like. Let's check out the bat now. Take a look inside. Now that is clean. What is that though? that a fossil? There were a few small pieces left in there. We're going to go ahead and drill that out real quick. Make sure it's nice and good. I think I'm going to stop. I drilled through the side of the bat. All right, guys, we're not shaving this bat. So whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it wrong. I got to stop. That is just the barrel wall. I'm going to attempt to get the rest of it out now. Well, we got the rest of it out. I think we're actually trying to take the barrel wall out for a minute. Uh, that's not what we want to do because we don't want to shave the bat. So, sorry. We're going to get over to the park and we're going to hit some freaking dingers. We're going to hit the ball hard. We're going to see how good this thing is now. We should be at least at like 98, 99, 100. I'm going to try to swing hard this time. We're going to bring out the CF3 again as a good comparison. That light is absolutely blinding me. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get back out there. You're going to see me out there in a minute. All right, guys, last time we had a two and a half mile an hour difference. So we got both bats back. We're going to put it to the test. It's actually pretty warm out here. So hopefully we get higher velos. But uh, the biggest comparison is hopefully see how much velo we gained here and how much the gap decreased between these two bats, you know, to see if you remove a restrictor ring and see if it ends up just like a Beezer bat or maybe it's a little bit worse than a Beezer bat, whatever. So. Yeah, we're going to find out. Let's do it.
Let's do it. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and hit, okay? That was stroke, baby. 93 with an old ball, dude. Oh, baby, I'll have to turn this up now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stroke, baby. We I weighed it. the bat and it's 31 ounces instead of 32. It was 32 previously. And what sort of sucks though, because honestly, that little bit of end load actually helps. Uh, it's a little bit lighter down here now. Like it's nice heavy down here and the end load definitely helps you hit the ball harder and further, but. What was that, baby? 95. All right, we're just getting warmed up, too, guys. Oh, that is strokes, baby. 92, though, I think. 95. 1. Ooh. I just thought I cut it a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Exit speed is 9.5.4 miles okay. per hour. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Why are we even swinging at that? Ooh, that was stroke, baby. That's got to be it. Exit speed is 100.3 <laughs> miles per hour. 100? <laughs> 103. <laughs> I mean, I stroked that, dude. 100? No, you gotta go middle. What was that though? Exit speed is 96. 96, miles okay. Oh. Get it, read it. Oh, dang it, baby. Come on. Exit speed is 97.6 miles. Oh, okay. 97.6, and that was not as well hit. Okay. Oh, no grip, bro. Come on. Ooh. Exit speed is 9.5.5 miles All right, per hour. We're going to try to throw a grip on here and see if we can do something. I got the little grip at it. Oh. Exit speed is 97.4 miles per hour. All right, 97.4 on a pop up. Exit speed is 97.3 miles yeah. per hour. Oh, that was stroke, baby. That was good. Exit speed is 96.4 miles per hour. This grip is not staying, though, unfortunately. So I don't know. Per hour. Ready. Ready. Oh, no. Ah. I, uh... I didn't let it dry. For 48 to 7. Oh, no, it just fell. Now I got to glue it back on. That fell off my shoe, ripped to the shoes, because these are the only good ones that I have. Dang, my favorite hitting shoes and they discontinued them. Ooh. Exit speed is 98.4 miles 98? per hour. Okay. Ooh. That was rope, baby. Exit speed is 98.1 miles okay. per hour. Oh my god. Tell me what that is. 98.3 miles per hour. Oh. Stroke, baby. 96. Exit speed is 96.2 oh. miles per hour. Right, come on, baby. Exit speed is 96.6 miles per hour. That was an old ball that just got soaked two days Ready. ago. Dang it. Oh, that was destroyed, baby. Didn't read it. But there you guys saw it. If you remove a restrictor ring from a BB core, it pretty much turns into a Beezer bat. Now, you could argue that the CF8 was a little bit better. It was a mile and a half better than the, uh, than the CF3. But... I really pieced up that ball, and I really didn't piece one up with the CF3 because I didn't have a great grip on it. So I'm going to say they're probably pretty similar. Uh, also, you know, a quick note for the kids that are watching this. Uh, 
you know, if you think this is a great idea to make yourself better, you know, one day you're going to get left behind, you know, so get in the gym, get in the cage, get that bat speed, the uh, strength and everything to go with it instead of cheating your way to uh, some exit velocity. So if you guys like videos like this, I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. It would help us out a lot, help me film a lot more videos, uh, maybe add to the videos, better machines, maybe hit trackers, something like that. It's getting warm out. It's raining less, so there'll be more on the way. I appreciate you guys watching. See you next time.